Welcome to Garage Gym Athlete Ask Me Anything. It's pretty simple. I'll be answering questions from the thousands of athletes that follow our daily programming. If you have a question or topic you want submitted, go to garagegymathlete.com slash AMA. Let's get started. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Garage Gym Athlete Podcast. Jared Moon here with Joe Courtney. What's up, Joe? Still in Texas. Still in Texas. Yeah, third week in a row. (laughs) (laughs) All right, we have a question uh, kind of about caloric deficits. It's a longer question, but I want to read the entire thing because some of you uh, may have similar uh, questions. So Justin says, my question is in regards to tracking nutrition and adjusting food consumption. I track my food daily using MyFitnessPal, and based off some calculations, I figure I should eat around 2,300 calories a day. Now, I stick to as close to this as I can, but I do realize that with our training, by the end of the day, my caloric deficit is around 1,000 or more calories. Conventional wisdom says you need to consume 500 calories less than you burn in order to lose weight. One, is that still true to this day? Two, should I be adjusting my consumption based on my caloric burn each day or just stick to a certain caloric intake and live with the ever-changing daily deficit? Thanks for any input. What you got, Joe? So first I'm going to start off uh, just with the whole calorie counting and things like that. Trackers like that you wear it on your wrist are wildly inaccurate, and I've worn Apple, Garmin, and Whoop, and I've gotten three completely different calorie totals because they'll – the, at the end of the day, they all they all give you an estimate of your calorie burn. So they are catching up. They are yeah. ca- they are getting better each with each iteration. By like by Apple Watch Nine, we might be at like pretty close. But. Yeah, and it's a great estimation. And honestly, it's it's best for like if you have your your tracker, then see what you burn each day, and then that could be your baseline for that specifically. But then comboing it with what you're eating, you might not your your deficit might not be accurate. So that's one thing that I would I would uh foot stomp a little bit is that you, you might seem like okay i'm burning this many calories my device has this many calories and I ate this many so i'm at an extreme deficit well the your calorie burn estimation might be a bit off because uh, I, don't, I don't think it would even factor for like heat and everything like that also adjusting calories day to day because of how many calories you burn i also would stay away from that because um we always talk about more of more of hitting your macros and focusing on macros versus uh, counting calories because calories aren't, aren't treated equally also day to day it's not so much like if you eat a bunch one day and then nothing the next day you're still it's it's not every day that you need to look at it's more of like the grand view of the entire week the amalgamation of the entire week uh total so if you stay consistent of okay this is what i need to eat this day and this is what i need to eat the next day and then maybe base it on your workouts if anything but staying consistent it'll also help you hit um, your nutrition and you know stress stress wise that's a big thing about nutrition is that people get into these places to where if you're counting calories co- consistently it's going to add stress to it and you're like okay I ate too much today oh my I need to f- shovel all this food in because I, I didn't eat enough today if you just keep those whatever you find your macro and, ca- and calorie count for food happy for that day for a single day try and keep that consistent every day and it'll be better in the long run versus looking at your calories and thinking oh it's 7 o'clock at night I need to eat 500 600 calories real quick before i go to bed or else i'm in too much of a deficit and this wasn't a direct i'm trying to lose weight so is this the right way you kind of mentioned it there but i'm I'm assuming you're wanting to lose weight or if you were that's why you're talking about caloric deficits and not surpluses or or maintenance at the end there kind of ask like you were you were asking a maintenance question um so for weight loss the science is there calories in calories out like the science is there if you eat fewer calories uh, and you burn more like you will lose weight so the science is there but to joy joe's point you you have to make sure that these things are really accurate like there are a lot of things that there's your actual activity which is happening from a, a fitness tracker there's the accuracy of you know whatever how well you're actually tracking your food and then your resting metabolic rate also needs to be incredibly accurate i see people screw that part up a lot too so what you could really look at here is if you're trying to find out if what you're doing is good or bad is your body weight so if you are not wanting to lose weight like i don't want to lose weight so i i look at my body weight at you know at least once a week and if i start to move down i'm like oh okay i'm not eating enough calories to your point like i I probably need to eat a little bit more and stay on top of that if my weight's going up 
then maybe I'm eating too much. Uh, typically my training's the same. So my nutrition is always the lever that I get to pull. And so I'm like, okay, you know, maybe I need to back off on certain types of foods or whatever. Um, so the, your, while I'm not a big fan of just like stepping on a scale and always tracking the weight, if that's your goal, that will kind of be your indicator. Like if your trackers say you're running at a thousand calorie deficit every single day for months on end, and you're not losing weight, something's off. Like once a tracker's off, your calculations are off, something's off. Cause if you are truly burning more calories than you consume, you should lose weight. Uh, so just look at your weight and, and adjust for what you're trying to do. But Joe hit it on the head that you need to look at this bigger picture of what's going on for the week. Uh, we do recommend typically people stick to their macros, getting enough protein, enough water, things of that nature, uh, as opposed to getting too worried about like, ah, uh, you know, I'm 76 calories over what I was allotted today. Cause that's just a little bit, um, a little bit more arbitrary to be honest. Yeah. I also, Personally, like when I shower, I'll take off my watch and I might not put it on for like two hours. I'm still doing something. I'm still burning calories in those two hours, but it doesn't know that I'm doing that. So just another example of how they can be a bit off, but just see how, how it is day to day with uh, your macros lined up with that and then adjust from there. Yeah. And keep an eye on the body weight for your, for your goal. And if the body weight's moving in the direction, staying the same or going up, if it's doing what you want, then, then you have things pretty dialed. Then if it's not, one of your trackers is probably off. Cool. All right, guys, if you have a question, go to garagegymathlete.com slash AMA. We will get that question answered for you. If you're on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe, leave us a comment, thumbs up. And if you are listening, five-star review and positive comment really helps some more Garage Gym Athletes out. So if you tell Apple or Spotify or wherever you're listening that this podcast is awesome, it will be like, oh, this podcast is awesome. It's going to recommend it to more people. It's all about the algorithm. So help the algorithm help more Garage Gym athletes by leaving that review. But that's all we got for this one, guys. Thanks for watching or listening. I hope you enjoyed today's Ask Me Anything episode. So one more time, if you want to submit a question, topic, or idea, you can do so at garagegymathlete.com slash AMA. And hey, while you're there, if you haven't already, sign up for Garage Gym Athlete membership. We are the best community and programming on the internet. I dare you to try and prove me wrong.